Family. What? Good evening. Sorry, I'm missing names. Oh, you're beautiful, Sylvia. Hey, Gilda, Misha, Paulette, D. Davis. Y'all are some troopers. Corita Ebony Day 12 Christina Priscilla Welcome G Win Nisi Got some troopers here. Hey Linda Hello Angie Y'all looking good tonight in the best seats in the house. Hi, Jackie Harden. Good evening, Nadine King. Hey, Terry. Cheryl Johnson. Look at that. I got to have y'all definitely with some kind of setup. Hello, Elitza. Latanya. Natasha. C.W. Doza. See? Look at this craziness. I just don't know what else to do with this periscope. Elder Greg. Hey, Jeanette. Oh, that's why it's on something it's not supposed to be connected to. Terrell, Sophia Harrison. Hello, Destiny. Okay, now maybe we'll be all right. Hello, Carol, Nicole Coleman. Angelise, one of my babies. Hey, Cheryl Knight. Tasha Robinson. Still same poor connection. Hi, Terry. <laughs> Sharita. That's crazy. Katrina. How's it going, Elder? How's that eye surgery, sir? Kareem, Latanya, I'm having trouble with Periscope. We have a lot of trouble with Periscope. Hey, Ray Lynn. I don't know what it is. It's telling me I can't even get a connection. <laughs> but all I pay for Wi-Fi. Hi, Leah. Hi, Jeanette Silva. Hey, Chris Blake. Hi, Latanya. Mike Tate. <laughs> you can try it, Latanya. You look like people are coming in now. There's like five people just signed in just now. The Gilberts. Hey, Kelly. Good evening, Reverend Craig. Good. I'm glad. Thank you, Cheryl. Lakeisha, I wish I could show you my plate, but guess where I went today? <laughs> yes, Christopher. John Bookers. Hello, Charmaine19. Hi, Bianca Lachey. Mishi. Hi, Juliet Copeland. The bookers, they get on together. Isn't that cute? I love it. We in here. <laughs> we're doing all right. Can y'all believe we're at day 12? Day 12. 12 days are down. We have, um, we've done a lot of work. Do you feel like we've done a lot of work? How you doing, Davida? Looks like I see Anya, I see Cynthia, I see Maria, 
Come on. Du Bois. Regina. Hello, Jennifer. I'm glad you joined Charmaine 19. Welcome in. Welcome in. Trying to give some credit here on Periscope. Anya, Misha, Kiki, which is Kiosha, Maria Cameron, Gwen Molden, Charmaine Edwards, Elder Denise, Joseph Johnson. Hi, Barbie. Uh, Latanya, Cynthia Bazin, Bianca, Du Bois, Tasha Robinson. I know Periscope is now starting. Hello, Marsha. Yeah, Latanya. Oh, yep. Periscope went from 12 to 5. It's kicking people right out. <laughs> What's up, Devin? Latanya, how was Periscope? Could you get in? Yesterday, I had to uh, sign in and sign back out. Kelly's back in. Don't even look that good either to me. Okay, I see some hearts. So I think y'all coming back in. Jay! The salon is watching tonight. Holla. Gotta get you one of these little stands so you can put it up so everybody can see it. Periscope started. Yes, Davida, I got more food for you. Look at my Nicholas, who has a testimony. Montre 07. Good. God's people are coming in. Oh, look at Destiny saying hi to her mom. All right, we're in the house, and guess what? You have the best seat in the house. You have the best seat in the house. How do you like your seat? You don't have to turn around in these scopes and these Facebook Live and tell your neighbor anything, because guess what? You are your neighbor. <laughs> Give me some hearts on Periscope, because it's flashing on my side. It's going in and out. I don't even know if y'all even there anymore. Nope, dropping. Last night we had to sign in a few times. Then we have to do that again. You love your seat, Elitsa? Hello, Cherie. Yeah, that periscope boy. Okay, I see somebody giving heart. Somebody's able to get a connection. Who's green? That you, Mishi? Oh, that's Gwen Molden. Oh, it's down to two now on Periscope. What a loser Periscope is, huh? It's toxic. Periscope is toxic. <laughs> it just flashed. Yep, very good. Comfy. Got my pillow and my blanket. Best seat on the planet. Go, Sylvie. Um, I'm going to sign out of here one more time. That's beautiful. Y'all talking to one another. That's beautiful. Hi, Pastor Lydia. I'm going to sign out a uh, Periscope one more time like last night and we'll try to get back in again. Just woke up here. <laughs> what does that mean, Trish? You woke up just in time for this? Facebook is toxic and we need to write, I mean, Periscope and we need to write and tell them this is unacceptable. They got people from all over the nation signing in. And we can't even reach Connecticut within Connecticut. Good evening, Jackie Minion. Hey, Tamara. Okay, one more time for Periscope, and then we have to move. So y'all going to have to download. Oh, I did day 12 with the emo emoji rolling his eyes. 
So how was everyone's day? Are you feeling it? Are you getting through it okay? Was today an up, up day? Now that we've got a lot of the toxicity. Okay, Kelly, drive and listen. I am, I am not against that. Now that we got a lot of the toxicity lifted up to the top, how you feeling now that it's surfaced? Now that it's surfaced, how you feel? It's crazy because it's telling us the connection is poor too, like it's in this house. Blessed, blessed, okay. Y'all had a blessed day, so you're doing all right. Blessed. All right. Well, why is it getting so easy for y'all? What is that all about? Are we working it? Y'all sure y'all working this? Emotional. Okay. I just want to make sure now. I'm not doubting y'all, but uh, it just seems a little uh, different that y'all feeling all right. Uh, tell me tell me what's up, Pastor Lydia. Tell me what's up. It was good. Linda's rejection, toxic thoughts. Private property is her mind now. That's right. I do not understand why Periscope is saying poor connection. And my iPad is just zooming with Facebook Live. Hey, Ellie Lane, how'd you get in? Chevelle says she decided the destiny of her mind. I know that's right. This is just such foolishness. It's a waste of all of our time with this Facebook. But, I mean, Periscope. Here we go. Hello, LaVonda. Trying to stay positive. Hey, James Wright. Kelly, you switched over to? I have a few people that do not like Facebook, period. So they prefer to have the app Periscope. It's been rough, but I definitely got this. All right. Getting to the root of some things. Very good. 9-11, I want to get moving. I'm telling the truth and getting it out. Rejecting the negative thoughts. Good. It's been rough for me, too. I did make some um, extra steps this time. This bitterness thing is tough. That depression demon was trying to get me today. I know how you feel. Good, good, good. Self-examination is very good. All right, put up your favorite one line. Put up your favorite phrase. If there's only one, if there's more, just start putting them up. Let me see what you're working on. Mm-hmm. Great. Your head was pounding today. I'm sorry, Nicola. Norlisha. If y'all haven't yet on the... um top of my Facebook page we have posted a um, it's still under construction but we have the, the gist of it up to give you the idea so that we have it going that we can spread this thing around with our remaining um, what do we have 18 days remaining or so um, so um, the, the website is posted up you can go ahead and subscribe to the newsletter and we'll make sure that as soon as these 30 days are up that you will be in the know you will be in the now with the um, news every week or every month however I'm able to do it I will be sending out tidbits every week reminding you according to each video what you should be working on for that week instead of for the day or actually two days you've been stretching these over two days all right, somebody signed up for the newsletter today. Look at that. I cannot overcome what I cannot identify. Come on, Kareem. Talk to me. So if you can, go on and sign up for the newsletter. Um, there's also a page there about the gift box that we talked about. The soul gift box, the grace box, God's promises box. Um, welcome, Carla. And you can um, sign up on there. And um, we can have you, uh, we'll send you a reply form that will ask for a few more details on how you want the uh, gift box sent to you and um, make it happen from there. 
but at least subscribe to the newsletter and you can always do the gift box after or you could do both and we will you know you will get a reply either way to let you know what more information we need for the gift box for the um, newsletter all we need is an email address so we can make sure the emails are sent out to you watch what you confess to people okay Sophia I like that welcome joy good evening Rhonda heart-wrenching I agree hi Migdalia amen I will decide the destination of my mind very good very 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 good okay periscope is going to win because I don't know what else to do with it I try for if all my periscopers it just won't even let me get a connection and that's bad news for us because as delegates y'all need these people because so, you have to minister Air time is too expensive, which ignore today will affect your tomorrow. Guard your heart. It is the wellspring of your life. Somebody had an identity crisis. Hebrews 12, 14 through 15. Healthy thoughts lead to uh, unhealthy thoughts lead to unhealthy words. That is the truth. What I ignore today will affect my tomorrows. Not sure what the gift box is all about. We had talked about a soul detox gift box that would come out every quarter. Every three months, a box would come in the mail to you and it would be supplies with everything you need to continue your soul detox. Um, it could be anything in there from a book on a particular part of the detox process. Um, very small pamphlet. Um, there would be soul detox items. Um, let me think what else we had in there. Uh, we had journals. Um, every quarter would be something different. So you could sign up for it. And um, we'd go from there. I think it's a very good idea. I wish I had it when I had started this this journey. It would have helped me to keep having something to keep me going when I was alone. Yes, bitterness eats upon its host. Go ahead, Jay. Very good. What are you hiding? Oh, that was a tough day for me. There is a better way and a better life good sometimes Nicole I had this conversation today sometimes you have to dig in the trash to get a life-saving rebuke Caritha Thomas I need to get it together that's right Trevor Hicks Bridget Brown bless you pastor Derek Hall Manuel Davis don't be bitter get better uh-huh speaking life speaking positive awesome all right Y'all keep posting. I'm just going to go ahead and in, invite the one that I um, submit my faith to and I've committed my life to. Again, to all those that are on here that we are blessed to have on here with us that um, have not made that step towards Christ, may not be interested in that at all. So again, you can use this as a declaration, affirmation over your life while I go ahead and pray to the one who I believe in who has blessed my life. Father, we thank you for each one that you have given me ear time with we take it not lightly on this 30-day journey that we have all made a commitment to and we pray that you will open up our eyes and our ears that we may hear in the realm of the spirit what it is that you have for us we pray for a detoxification of our soul going back to the beginning time when we were in our mama's womb and we go back through every recesses of that and give you complete and total authority to do a new work in us we thank you for the upgrade in the only name that i know that is matchless and powerful in the earth and in the heaven. And that is in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good. All right. Last night we hit our new theme from toxic thoughts. We hit toxic emotions and we started on bitterness and we quoted Maya Angelou. Bitterness is like a cancer. It eats upon the host. We know that's true, right? Last night, we picked up on um, some people, maybe some um, people who were responsible for raising us that were bitter. Um, a lot of testimonies came through and we found bitterness within ourselves. That's right, Tamara. Bitterness works underground and, is, and can be very well dressed. Oh, look at the love for each other. Yes, sir. 
Um, so as as um, I try to do, not every night, but as I try to do, uh, we're able to get to my email to keep up with a lot of the inbox stuff. Thank you all for inboxing me. It is encouraging. Um, some of you all are sharing some of your innermost inner court secrets. And I, 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 I keep it totally confidential. And I just thank you for even trusting me with that. Welcome, Cheryl Wilbur. I take this not lightly of this position that you've allowed me in as I talk on either video one or two. Airtime is expensive. And I appreciate very much that you trusted me with your ear time. So let's read a couple of testimonies. Are you ready? I am really was trying to wait for this periscope, but I feel so bad for these people. I really do. Because I know it's a few of them that they, they just they despise uh, Facebook and they will not get on Facebook. So they uh, really hope for periscope to work. And when it doesn't, it lets them down. All right. Go live. Let's try it again. All right. So we're going to start with testimonies. Let's go. Greetings, Apostle Suzanne Howard. Before I say anything else, I need to share with you that you, woman of God, was sent to minister to me through Periscope. See, <laughs> I deleted my Facebook off my phone for consecration and so that there would be no distraction as I not only re turn back pent to that which is higher woo, preach me and a woman of God but that my self will my flesh would be totally submitted good they're coming back in I was able to see you on Twitter I normally don't go up there, but this night the Holy Spirit led me to watch the entire segment on David. And yes, you are my Nathan. It was a total blessing to my life. I'm a leader, and as a leader, I fell short. And instead of being extended grace, I was scorned and rejected. And I even rejected myself at first. I was torn by what I had done until I wouldn't forgive myself. Come on, you know what we do for testimonies. Come on, help me out. Until the presence of God ministered grace to me and confirmed that he loved me and that he had forgiven me. Glory, this writer writes. I pray that we will meet soon. I am from the Connecticut area and I plan to visit your ministry as well. Continue in his will. Blessings and Godspeed. Come on, now y'all know that's real right there. Hey, what's going on? I see your names. I see you down here, Dawn, on, on Facebook Live. Come on, Diane Madison on Periscope. Come on in. Did y'all hear that testimony? Christina Atkins. Come on, Lisa. Leah, did y'all hear that testimony? This was a leader. And that's why I said, it doesn't matter whether you are an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, a pastor, or a teacher. Our soul needs ministering too. It doesn't matter title if your soul ain't right you are jacked up even with the holy spirit you are jacked up even with the holy spirit so this 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 teaching here is a uh, not a respecter of person the title does not exempt you from having soul issues and I, and as i told you the holy spirit had even said to me um that a lot of people have my spirit they have my presence but they're not receiving the fullness of it because their soul is still out of whack and we need to bring this back into subjection. That's right. Good. All right, Periscope. They is on and popping. Them hearts are flying. I see lime green and pink and dark pink come on somebody. Now I'm seeing purple. Listen to this one. My mentor. Wow. I'm obliged. I'm obliged. That's a big, big title to wear. I was on the verge. Oh, God. Listen to this one. Oh, y'all got to hear this one. Are you ready? I was on the verge of losing my job. Remember when I talked about people watching our Facebook posts and, 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 and people saving this stuff for the future? They're making judgments of it. They're making first impressions of what we post. So be careful not to be reckless people, emotional people all over Facebook. Look, I was on the verge of losing my job. Working the tools you gave and getting rid of toxic thoughts and emotions turned around a corporate decision. Come on, it's not over with yet, but we got to do it right now. She said it turned around a corporate decision. Thank you, Barbie. Woo, do y'all feel it? 
turned around a corporate decision. That means this means a group of people have already met and they have decided and they have delegated their reason to have this person subject to either termination, probation, or some standards that I'm sure she would not or he would not have been able to work up to so that they could slowly and gently get this person out the door. But working the tools you gave and getting rid of toxic thoughts and emotions turned around a corporate decision. I was told today that they value my work and attitude as well as how I handled myself over the last week. Come on, somebody help me. If I wasn't redoing my office here, I would run around this desk right about now. I know that's right. I give praise to God for placing you in my life at such a time as this, knowing what I know now. I am, I am able to not self-sabotage my destiny. Come on, come on, come on. Truly, I am humbled at the depth of, of this detox teaching. I am praying that God replenishes you as you have poured out to us. He not only saved my job, but my soul is being nourished. The light is shining brighter and people are asking me what has changed in me. I'm not complaining and stressed out as much anymore. How can I repay you? Love you. Mighty woman of God. Come on, somebody saved their job. They saved their job by changing their attitude, by dealing with their toxic soul. Instead of running around with their Jesus scarves on, saying hallelujah and speaking in tongues, they went back and got their soul right and saved their job. Because you could speak in tongues all you want as you pack up your little box. And have to leave that company and put in all your goodies. You ever have, see that on TV? They have their little box that they have to leave with. You're fired. And you can go out the door with Shondo, Shondo, Shondo all you want. And take your little fire self out the door. Why? Because the corporations, the company, the marketplace doesn't care who your Jesus is. They don't care who your God is. They don't care what tongues you speak in. They don't care the threats you make about touch not my anointed. They want people who can do the job that they paid you to do. With your warfare, they expect you to be at work. They expect you to be at time. You're late because you procrastinate. You procrastinate because you're trying to be perfect. You're trying to be perfect because you're still fighting with rejection. Still rooted in your soul. I'm devoted to these 30 days to save your life, to save your job, to save your relationships, to attract new opportunities, new resources, a new income in your life, new opportunities to upgrade your relationships, to upgrade your marriage, to upgrade your thinking so that when these doors are opened, you can walk through and gain every single opportunity that is offered to you and you're not losing it and blaming the devil. Come on. This lady, oh my God, I got to read that line one more time. This is for us. You're delegates of this. After these 30 days, while you're being strengthened, you have to go out and strengthen your brothers and sisters with this. So this is for us. Working the tools to get rid of toxic thoughts and emotions turned around a corporate decision. I don't know about y'all, but I've been in them positions before. I've been on both sides of that desk. Once on the other side and about... 80 times on the corporate side where I knew how long we had watched and planned and purposed to get rid of somebody and the strategy that it takes to get them out the door or to get them to a place where they're so uncomfortable they have no choice but to go to the pride is messing them up so bad that they're ready to go. I know about this whole game. Corporate made a decision, honey. A corporate made a decision. That's a God in that, in that environment and that's over with. It's done. They don't even want to talk to you after that. Sometimes the big wigs won't even be in the office that day because they don't want you crying at their desk. But instead of this happening to her, instead of her having to pack up her box with her family photos and her post-it notes, her Bible and her scripture is probably all over her little cubicle or his cubicle. <laughs> the Lord, his work through this woman, this woman taking the time of this man to do this work saved her job. See, a lot of times we don't want to do the work. So we'll say, um, you know, well, God knows God's got my back. God ain't gonna let him do this to me. Listen, he expects us to be good stewards. He expects us to occupy till he comes. You can't be a mess in the marketplace and expect them just to keep you on the job because you know Jesus. 
whoever your pastor is or whatever church you go to or like I said or how many times you pray for things that happen in their life you ever pray for things that happen in somebody's life and it turns around and it happens for them but you still not living up to the expectation they gotta let you go but she was able not by her tongues not by her prayer shawl not by her might not by her power but by her working in the soul detox teaching she was able to turn this around and save her job and not only that she was able to start getting compliments on how they like her attitude tell me that's not amazing here's another one here's another one you go ahead Linda here's another one I love you my Nathan remember we talked about Nathan went to see David and how important that was one of the most amazing things happened today never knew the owner of my store that I work in has been watching me on Facebook with the 30-day detoxing when I walked in today she was telling people and telling a few people in the store today and introducing me as a soul detoxer and that she is doing it with me this is her boss apostle that's the watch that you said on Facebook to watch what we post on social media because we never know who's watching us today did it for me I am guarding my heart and guarding my media come on somebody give it up her boss is watching it and guess what and her boss is going through the soul detox so which, what do you think is going to happen in that company mighty changes are going to happen in that company because they didn't have to sit on a pew next to a hater they have to sit on a pew next to somebody who's talking or preaching over the pastor or oh my god help me lord or going against the preacher who's up there preaching they're not next to somebody's noisy rude kids they're next to some kids who playing a video game while they're sitting in church they're in the best seat in the house and being detoxed watch what happens in that company watch what happens to that 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 owner that manager and watch what's happened to that employee we will hear a testimony before these 30 days are up so i just give god the glory because that's again who i believe in through jesus christ so toxic emotions we hit it really good yesterday we hit it really well with bitterness working underground that sometime it could be a well dressed up suit and a pretty smile and the bitter root is there and there were signs and uh, manifestations that we talked about how you can pick up on this do you remember jealousy anger hatred disobedience contempt gossip rage and other hitchhikers you know what hitchhikers are people that you give a ride to but you don't even know them hitchhikers that's what they are and the dangers of bitterness is that it causes trouble when you're around a bitter person, I don't care how the conversation starts, they'll call you up. Hey, did you see the latest show at 9 o'clock on Sunday? Oh, you see what so-and-so did? It's so good on this show and that show. And then right away, they're so cunning and so slick. Next thing you know, they're talking about, I did this and somebody did this to me and I deserve this. And somebody's would have looked out for me and I did this and I need that and I want this. And I, 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 that's their favorite pronoun. Remember the bitter person? They love the pronoun I, me. You can have a conversation with them, get off the phone with them, and you will be mentally fatigued, physically fatigued, sometimes a little anxious after talking to them because that bitterness releases a spirit, it releases an energy that shifts the person that is able to spew its venom on. If this is you, you need to lift your hands and say, I'm going to work on this bitterness to get out of me because if it affects other people, can you imagine what it's doing to you? They suffer. They suffer from the I, I, me, me syndrome. Always complaining. They suffer major rejection. And after talking with them, you will always feel slimed on. You just feel, I thought I had a good day. I thought I was about to clean up. I thought I was about to go out to the mall. Now, if anything, you're going to run out because you are fatigued just from talking to this person. Some of them get it from abuses. And they're, they're suffering real, real, true abuse, but they've never dealt with the soul. All roots. Y'all seem to like this one. I got a lot of inboxes on this one. All roots, whether those of a tree in the biggest national park or the root of personal bitterness, 
They all support themselves by what they absorb and the direction that they grow. Very good. Very good. Very good. I see it. The roots absorb whatever moisture is nearby into their system to nourish the tree. That's the body, the soul. If the roots absorb clean water, the tree will grow strong and healthy. But if the roots absorb contaminated water, the tree becomes diseased and unhealthy, just like people. So these sufferers have absorbed some life traumas, some life situations, never sat down with a counselor, a pastor, a mentor, uh, a mature woman or man, um, a godly leadership, parental elders. They've sat with no one. So they've absorbed all this mess and now it has become a part of their system and they are yucky. I'll use that for a word tonight. We haven't used that one at all. This is where we left off and we'll begin here. If you are not on guard, a root of bitterness can grow in the soil of your soul by hurt that hasn't been dealt with properly. Do you have any hurt? And I know you have because we all have. That has not been dealt with properly. That's a journal moment. Think about it. Think about how old are you? 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s? Come on. 70s, 80s, is there some, some hurt in you that you have not dealt with? You need to write it down. 